guys, Tech Rally here, and welcome to the tenth lesson of Blockstack Plus React. I'm so honored to say that I have now 50 subscribers on my channel, and to some it may be small, but for me it would, it's a milestone because um, what was originally just gonna be a hobby or something I do on the side was uh, really well received, and I really appreciate all the comments and the feedbacks and the likes, and I hope that moving forward I could keep building great content, build tutorials, and maybe even talk about my journey in the future. But for now, let's focus on what we came for and work on the 10th lesson. For this 10th lesson, it should be fairly quick and what we're going to be focusing on is the admin post routes and the admin user page. The admin post routes will be a component that will be responsible for keeping track of the routing for view, edit, and creation of a post. Below each view and edit and create, I give an example of what it would look like in the URL and what it looks like in the code itself. The initial admin username page will be styled with the Bulma cards. We're going to add a button to navigate to the post create page, which we talked about in the previous slide. The example of what it will look like is shown below where it says hello gomas.id, which is your Blockstack user ID and it will have a button called create post which should navigate to the create post page. Let's look at the code and start working on it. Before we move on to the admin username post routes, I want to do a slight refactoring on our initial route on the admin username routes. And to show you what I want to do, I'm going to console log out the disk.props.match. Let's go to the browser and see what happens. Keep in mind that I have my npm run start running already, so my local server is already whipped up. Looking at the console log, you can see that the match object has a key called URL, and it references to admin slash gomas.id, which is the exact route that we set up in our code. So instead of referencing to admin slash username, we can just reference to the disk.props.match.url. So let's erase this here and write this.props.match.url. Get rid of this console log and everything should work the same. Let's look at the browser and confirm that it is true. I'm going to refresh the page and it looks like nothing has changed. Now let's move on to the admin username post routes and we're going to be working on creating the routes for the view, edit, and create. On the admin username route component, I'm going to add a second route. And for this, I'm going to reference to a path using the this.props.match.url. And then in this case, I'm going to write slash posts. In the render, we're going to be referencing to a admin username post routes that we haven't actually created yet, but we will soon. And inside of the function of the render, we're going to reference to the match and pass that in as a prop. We're getting linter errors because that component hasn't been created, so let's do that now. And under username, I'm going to create a folder called posts. And under posts, I'm going to create a file called routes.jsx. We're going to be creating a similar component to the admin username routes. And just like before, we're going to import react and component from react, import switch and route from react router DOM. And we're going to be creating a class-based component, class admin username post routes extends component. And for now, we'll just render a empty div export default the admin username post routes. Cool. Now let's take out this empty div and add in the switch. And inside of the switch will be a route for the view, edit, and create process. I'm also going to be adding a view for the user to view his or her own post as the admin. So first, I want to actually include the prop types 
from prop types. And just like before, we're going to have a static prop types in reference to the match. And we'll say that that is an object that is required. The first route will be the admin post routes. So I'm going to make the path equal to the match.url. And in this case, we're going to say this.props.match.url. And we're going to be rendering a simple div that just says admin posts. The second route we're going to create is the admin creation page. And for that, we're going to do path equals this, this dot props dot match dot URL slash create. And notice that I'm using the, um, Inter string interpolation for JavaScript. And for this, we're going to render a simple div again and say div admin create post page. Second, we're going to be creating a admin view page. And for that, we can do path equals this tops.match.url slash post ID and here we can do a div I say admin view page and last but not least we're going to create a edit page route And like before again, this.props.match.url slash post ID slash edit. And then render admin edit page. Cool. Looking at this code, you're gonna be probably asking yourself why are we always referencing to match as this.props.match instead of destructuring it out? And for me, it's just a little bit confusing. Sometimes it will be inevitable that you pass down another match object here and pass it down to this component. And it's a little unclear to me when I will be referencing to the previous match or the new match that's being created on the route. So it's not mandatory to do it this way, but it just helps me reference things a little bit more clearly. And now that we've set this up, I think we can go back to our initial routes in our admin username routes and import admin username posts routes from pages admin username slash posts slash routes. And here everything should work. Let's go to the browser and see if everything is working correctly. I realize I missed some important crucial steps in terms of routing, and that is the exact prop. And if you need more detail about why, why and when we need to use exact, it will be explained in the documentation below. But for now, I'm going to add a exact path here in the admin username route. And in the admin username post routes, I'm going to add it to the initial route and also the view route. Let's go back to the browser and confirm that it works properly. So initially, we're going to see a page that says hello gomas.id under the admin gomas.id route. And then if I do posts, it's gonna show you the admin post routes. And we can do post slash ID, which will be the admin view page. We can do the admin create page. And last but not least, we can do the admin edit page. Awesome, now that we've set this up, let's work on the admin username page and add some Bulma styles to it to clean it up and also add navigation to the admin post create route. So what I'm going to do first is remove this empty div and reference to a component that we haven't created yet, which we will call admin username. And what we're going to pass in as a prop is the username string. Awesome. And in this case, the admin username will be this index that lives under admin underscore username. 
So just like before, we're going to be importing React component from React. And also, we're going to be importing prop types from prop types. And we're going to be importing some Bulma components for styling. So import from React Bulma components. And what we're going to be importing is the heading, the button, the card, content, and the columns. Cool. We're also going to be importing a function called with router. And it's a higher order component that's used in React Router DOM. And it allows you to basically navigate to certain um, URLs depending on certain types of actions. So I can show you an example below. Once uh, the user clicks create, it's gonna navigate to that create page. And just like before, we're going to be creating a class and then username extends component. And we're also going to be including the static prop types here. And in this case, the prop will be the username, which will be a string. And let's also add a render here and return. And we'll leave that blank for now. And in this case, instead of just doing export default admin username, we're going to be wrapping it with the with router HOC and putting the admin username component in here. And this gives us the ability to push into different URLs. I'm going to create the card for the admin username. So first I'm going to create a div and we'll give it a class name of admin username. And inside of this div will be a card. And inside of the card will be a card.content. And inside of that will be a content, which will keep all of our content information. And the first thing we want to show is a heading. And it will say hello username. And we'll give it a prop of render as, as an h2. And username is not defined yet, so let's destructure that here via props. And last but not least, let's add a button. We'll say the button will say create posts. And here we're going to give it a color of primary. And on click, we will this dot navigate to create posts. And this function hasn't been created yet, so let's go above the render and do navigate to create post equals. And I'll assume that you know how this ES6 syntax works, but if you have any questions, I can ask some links below, but also just write me a comment and I'll try to explain to the best of my abilities. Since we have the with router HOC, um, we have access to the history prop, so we can do history and the username equals this dot props. And what we'll do is when the user clicks that create button, we're going to be navigating to the user admin post create page. So at history dot push admin slash username slash post slash create. Now that we've done the routing on the admin username component, we need to import it in our routes page. So here we're going to import admin username from pages admin username and everything is now hooked up properly. We're going to save this and let's look at the browser and see if the navigation works properly. Looking at the admin username page, you can see that it is now wrapped in a card and it says hello comas.id and it shows that button as well. When I click the button create post, it now goes to the admin create post page. I'm going to add some styling above to give it a little bit of a buffer. So let's go back to our code and fix that really quickly. I'm not going to worry too much about scalability from a CSS perspective. So what I want to do is reference to this class name under main.scss. So here I'm going to write admin username and just give it a margin top about 10 pixels. 
If we go to our browser, it should be a little bit more breathing room from the top. Awesome. This is a great stopping point for essentially working on the admin create post page. And I think this is where we're going to start utilizing the Blockstack.js library of creating posts and using our Blockstack Gaia storage as a way to save our posts. I can't wait for the 11th lesson and this is going to be very exciting. Talk to you then.